Our top story today will go down in history as the day the world's seventh billionth human was born, at least symbolically, because it's impossible to accurately identify the seventh billionth baby and whether indeed today is the day. However, the symbolism is important because it focuses on the speed with which the global population is growing. We crossed from six to seven billion in less than 13 years. And most of this growth is in the developing world, where there's already a struggle for scarce resources. In India, it was Nargis, born in India's most populated state, Uttar Pradesh, who was chosen symbolically as the country's seventh billionth baby. Several other countries too marked the occasion with specific babies. There isn't, however, just one message in this exercise, but many, from the fragile sex ratio to food and health security, scarce resources, family planning for women, and also the shifting economic advantages based on this growing population or demographic dividends that East Asian and South Asian countries are meant to have. Little Nargis came to this world at the crack of dawn, symbolizing a historic high for the world population, 7 billion and counting, and also a warning that the planet's resources will soon be stretched to the limit. But for the new parents, it was a moment of pure joy. Nargis is India's symbolic 7 billionth child, her birth a matter of great pride for her parents. But there are several girls in India who are killed in the womb or abandoned in garbage dumps, left there to die. And it's this attitude towards the girl child that these people are hoping to change on a day when the population clock of the world has hit the 7 billion mark. While India has one of the world's youngest populations, giving it an edge over China, parts of Europe and even the United States, experts say inadequate food, health and educational resources is turning it into a curse. Nargis will attend school and lead a better life, thanks to social organizations. 2011 figures suggest that in Uttar Pradesh alone, 536 are killed every day. We really want to bring attention to the cause of gender discrimination and uh, female feticide that is so prevalent. On a day several countries welcomed their 7 billionth baby, more than a dozen mothers had been marked just in Uttar Pradesh, India's most popular state. Among them was 25-year-old Pinky Panwar, who became an overnight celebrity in and around her village. But Pinky didn't deliver, and the benefits of becoming a population statistic were lost to the family. This village of 11,000 is specially notorious for its missing girl child. It almost built itself to a peeply live moment when the news of the seventh billion child of the world being born in India's most popular state began doing the rounds. An otherwise quiet village, happy with all the international attention, not just the milestone tag, but hoping their issues will be for the world to see. With Ume Kulsum Sharif in Bagpat in Lucknow, Anand Zanane for NDTV. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.